assalamu alaikum everyone hope you guys are doing well uh, today's video is about the reducing balance method of depreciation and in the in the exams and in the questions you guys might have uh, might have read this that it's also called diminishing balance method diminishing balance method it actually is diminishing balance method because depreciation expense decreases every year in case of the reducing balance method of depreciation so firstly it's the formula that is very very important one is the formula is cost minus accumulated depreciation multiplied by percentage here you need to understand the word accumulated the accumulate the word accumulated means total depreciation so whenever you have to apply the percentage you need to apply this on the net book value of the non current asset the net book value is cost minus accumulated depreciation and when you multiply this by percentage that's the formula for uh, reducing balance method of depreciation so uh, if you look here, these are three cases that I have uh, made for, uh, you know, teaching students how to calculate depreciation when it's the reducing balance method. And case one here says a business buys a motor vehicle for 80,000. The business uses the reducing balance method at the rate of 20% per annum to depreciate its motor vehicles. Calculate depreciation expense for the first four years. So depreciation expense will be calculated by uh, using this formula cost that is 80,000 minus accumulated depreciation in the first year is zero because for the first time you're depreciating this non-current asset. You multiply this by 20% and you get 16,000. So after the first year, your accumulated depreciation is 16,000 and your net book value is 80,000 minus 16,000, which is 64,000. Okay, in the second year, what you'll do is you'll do 80,000 minus 16,000 multiplied by 20%, which is uh, 12,800. In the second year, after the second year, your accumulated depreciation will be 16,000 plus 12,800, the total of which is 28,800. And now your net book value is basically 80,000 minus 28,800, which is 51,200. Okay, in the third year, what you'll do is that you will do 80,000 minus accumulated depreciation that is 80, uh, 28,800 multiplied by 20% which gives you 10,240 and now the accumulated depreciation will be 16,000 plus 12,800 plus 10, 28, plus um, 12,800 plus 10,240 which gives you 39,040 and the net book value now is 80,000 minus 39,040 which gives you uh, 40,960. In the fourth year, what you'll do is you'll do 80,000 minus 39,040 multiplied by 20%, which will give you uh, 8,192. And now the accumulated depreciation will be 16,000 plus 12,800 plus 10,240 plus 8,192, which will give you a total of 47,232. And now your net book value will be uh, 80,000 minus 47,232, which gives you 32,768. Uh, that is the net book value after the fourth year. So the next question here, basically now the policies are being introduced. There are two very, very important policies. Whether it's a straight line method or the reducing balance method, you will still be given a policy. So the policy here in the second case, basically policy is being introduced here. Uh, the policy here is um for each part of the year the non-current asset is owned so basically it's a month by month policy so it's the reducing balance method plus the policy is that you need to take care of the months that you have uh, used the non-current assets so what you'll do here is that you will uh, simply so what uh, i have to do here is that i have to uh, basically um see that when did I purchase my asset? When did I sell my asset? So if I see here, they, they're saying a business buys a motor, a, a computer C1 costing 40,000 on 1st January 2022. On 1st April 2022, the business bought another computer C2 costing 25,000. The business bought a third computer C3 for 35,000 on 1st July 2023. So now that's the next year, 2023. So first you have to do depreciation for 2022. And then you will do the depreciation for 2023. Then they're saying and sold 
will see one on 30th September 2023. So um, basically there are two years under consideration. One is uh, one is for the year ended 31st December 2022. The other is for the year ended 31st December 2023. So what you'll do here is that the business bought a uh, basically, the business uses the reducing balance method at the rate of 20% per annum for each part of the year the non-current asset is owned. Uh, then you have to calculate depreciation for each year that is 31st December 2022 and for the year ended 31st December 2023. So what you'll do here is that C1 you need to, you've uh, bought C1 on the first day of the year and you've used it for the whole 2022. So what you'll do here is 40,000. Uh, minus zero you are depreciating this for the first time multiplied by 20 percent and you get 8000 here for c2 you have bought c2 in april so if you count the months from april till december april may june july august september october november december so it's nine months so what you'll do here is 25000 minus zero uh, which means that you haven't depreciated this uh, before so you need to write zero here in the accumulated depreciation multiplied by 20 percent multiplied by 9 divided by 12 which will give you the depreciation for c2 that is 3750 and c3 you don't need to depreciate in 2022 because you have purchased c3 in 2023 so when you total these both you get 11750 now for 2023 you've bought um a third computer in 2023 c3 for 35000 on 1st july 2023 which means that you have bought it um basically uh, in between so july to december is six months so you'll charge six months depreciation on c3 um on c1 you're supposed to you sold c1 on 30th september 2023 which means you have used it for nine months so january february march april may june july august september uh so you have used c1 for nine months in 2023 so 40,000 minus 8,000, which is the net book value multiplied by 20 percent multiplied by 9 divided by 12 which gives you 4800 okay and then they are saying um for c2 what you'll do is that you'll use you're using it for the full year so you'll do 25000 minus 3750 multiplied by 20 percent which gives you uh, 4250 and for c3 you need to you're using it for half year because you bought it on 1st july 2023 and you used it for six months so what you'll do is that you'll write here 35000 minus zero because this is for the first time that you are depreciating it in the first year when you have purchased the asset net book value is equal to cost so what you'll 35000 minus zero multiplied by 20 percent will give you um, multiplied by six divided by 12 will give you 3500 so now 4800 plus 4250 plus 3500 uh, gives you a total of so let's say 4800 plus 4250 plus 3500 gives me a total of 12,550 which is the total depreciation if for uh, these three computers in 2023. So the next case basically is the same case but the policy is changing here. So the policy year is the fu a full year's depreciation in the year of purchase uh, but none in the year of disposal. So a full year's depreciation in the year of uh, purchase and none in the year of disposal and what you'll do here is that you have purchased uh, c1 and c2 in 2022 so you will depreciate them for the full year so you'll do 40,000 minus 0 multiplied by 20 percent which gives you 8,000 for c1 and for c2 what you'll do is that you'll do 25,000 minus 0 multiplied by uh, 20 percent which gives you uh, 5,000 and the total depreciation so c3 will not be depreciated in year um, basically in year 2022 because c3 is purchased in year 2023 so c3 will not be depreciated total for this year 2022 will be um, 8000 plus 5000 that is 13000 for year 2023 c1 will not be depreciated because it's the year of sale for c1 so because c1 is being sold in 2023 you will not depreciate c1 
but what you will do is that you will depreciate c2 um for the full year because you're not selling it either you're using it 25000 minus 5000 multiplied by 20% which should give you which should give you 4000 and then you have to depreciate c3 uh, because C3 is being purchased in July 2023 and now C3 will be depreciated for the full year. So you do 35,000 minus 0 multiplied by 20% which gives you um, 7,000. So it's the year of purchase for C3. So you will have to depreciate, depreciate this for the full year. So you do 4,000 plus 7,000 which is 11,000 for the total depreciation of um these two c3 c2 and c3 for 2023 so 11000 is the total depreciation for year 2023 when you have changed the policy uh, so that's it i hope this helps you um, this is going to help you in solving questions basically calculating income statement the value of income statement in the t account of provision for depreciation thank you so much